for the kids it's been a little kind of been kind of bummy the last couple of days it's been raining so I want to kind of perk up the atmosphere so what better way than snickerdoodles but the problem is I no longer have all the ingredients to make a traditional snickerdoodle so I'm going to improvise and I'm going to share with you the different ways we're gonna be making snickerdoodles today so get ready get set and get ready to be snickerdoodles so I've already put all of my ingredients together. I will put the recipe at the end of the video so you guys get a chance to see, you know, exactly how to make this step by step. Granted, it comes out great, but just to save time, like I said, I put everything together. Now I'm gonna melt the butter. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt my butter and my margarine. So this is one cup of shortening, one cup of margarine. I prefer butter, but I don't have butter. I only have this. So let's see what happens. You know, my mom always says the best way to get through to a man is through his stomach. And I really believe that. I really do. Really so you want to make sure everything is nice and melted and then once the butter is done, then you let it cool. Okay, don't let it get to the point where it's solidifying again, but you don't want it to cook your eggs either, which it will do. Oh yeah, I suggest you put it on medium high. Because that's what I have on medium high. Okay, so see, once it gets that frothiness and everything is nice and melted, you can turn it off. See the frothiness. And then you just remove it off the stove. That's crazy! So while I'm waiting for that to cool, I'm going to put my oven on and I'm gonna put it on. 425. Okay, so while this is going to cool off, the oven is on. You're going to turn it on at 425 like I showed you. You're going to make sure that you guys put your racks in the middle of the oven. Don't forget your cookie sheets. These are really old, but they're so, so durable. I've had them for like 20 years. It's done. We're about to put everything together. It is a very, very easy recipe. You're gonna put your sugars together, you're gonna put your eggs to do extracts, and then you're gonna put your, your dries together. Then what you're gonna do, is then you're going to put in a separate container your sugar, your cinnamon sugar. I need a bowl like this, because this is gonna make six dozen picadillos. My eggs. Slow drip.
flour, sugar, Now I'm going to pour in my mixture. This recipe is so super easy to make. I mean, it just, it is. Now we are going to make little balls and roll them out. Then we're going to put them on the pan. I made my cinnamon sugar. I improvised so I used instead of just like white sugar I used a combination of the white sugar and brown sugar so we shall see it in the recipe but anyways what we're gonna do now we're going to roll magic tool right here scrape it about so yay big roll it and place it. As you see, you have your snickerdoodles. Smash, 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 I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in the oven for about seven to eight minutes. We're gonna put it on the timer. So don't forget, middle rack, 425, seven minutes, okay? Let's see what they're gonna look like. I can't wait to see what they're going to taste like. Okay, so the first batch is done. So now I'm gonna put the next batch in. A few things that you're gonna need as a like must have for life these cookie wraps that my sister bought me a long long time ago they're stackables stack stack number two What do you think so far? So far, so good. I got maybe, what, four more dozen to make? But at seven minutes a pop, that's nothing to me. Well, the snickerdoodles are done. That's what they look like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let's see how they taste. Me first? Oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. Mmm, 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 That is my recipe for sticker doodles, and I would love to hear your comments and see how you like the recipe, because I think you're all lying to me. I like it. But anyway, it's a good recipe, and it's a very easy recipe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave your comments below, hit those notifications. This is Carl Alexander, here with Fat Fitness. And I will talk to y'all later. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like inside. This is so good. <laughs>